Okay, Arsenal fans and football fans, in this video I'm going to show you all the differences between the two available away shirts for the 23-24 season. One of them is called the fan version or the replica. It's actually called the replica because it is a replica of the authentic version, which is also called or known as the player version. One of them is a heat ready material, aero ready material, sorry, and the other one is heat ready material. The interesting point to note about these two materials is that they are very similar this time on the Arsenal shirt, which is quite nice. Usually it's more a robust, thicker material on the replica. And of course, the heat ready is just a template of all the Adidas shirts released this season. Or this year rather but in this video I'm going to show you all the differences between the two one of them is 80 pound and the other one is 110 pound it's up to you to make your own mind up if it's worth the extra pound extra 30 pound let's get started straight away on the Adidas logo which is on the fan version is embroidered and stitched on or rather woven it looks really nice it's nice and clean looking but then over on the authentic it is a heat applied rubberized transfer it just looks nice cleaner crisper more intricate you can see there it just looks nicer in my opinion rather you might prefer the traditional embroidery going back to the fan version the arsenal badge is stitched on and you can see that embroidery around the border there that looks really nice nice colors it's woven it's really tight, tightly knit, if that's what you call it. But it does look really good on the replica. And then over on the authentic, it's a rubberized heat applied transfer, but you can see it's just much more intricate. It just looks so much nicer and cleaner. And then the Emirates sponsorship on both shirts is slightly different, which is usually, they usually just cost cut and use the same transfer. But you can see there on the fan version, it's a bigger patch, which is heat applied. See all that? And then over on the authentic, it's individually lettered and heat applied. Once again, just looks nicer, cleaner and much better. And next, I'm going to go into the color, which on the replica is slightly different than the authentic, but it's, it's going to be hard to show on the camera, but you can see that. It's a, both these shirts are a size large, by the way, slim fit. The replica, the fan version is made in Cambodia. You can see the normal material on the back of the neck. The blue trim. You'll notice it's slightly wider on the, on the replica. Also a bit more of a tag there. You're also looking for that hologram sticker. Make sure it's genuine, there's the QR. And then over on the authentic, the color, it is slightly different. Then it's a ribbed crew neck. You get the heat, heat ready material on the back of the neck. Size large, made, the authentic is made in Vietnam. Another QR there if you want to scan that. If you're looking for that. 
hologram sticker make sure it's genuine but there's the authentic color and then the uh, the replica color the fan version next i'm going to show the adidas three stripes on the shoulder which on the fan version the replica is stitched on but over on the authentic it's like a whole segment see that you can also see a little bit of the blue coming through so everything's just slightly more detailed on the authentic you're paying an extra 30 pound for the difference though next i'm going to show you the cuffs on the sleeve which the material again it's hard to show on the camera but it is slightly different it's slightly softer on the authentic the blue trim looks thinner on the authentic hopefully you can see that on the camera there okay just quickly going to show the sponsorship on the sleeve which is the visit rwanda that's the replica the fan version and that one is the authentic i think it's pretty much the same it looks the same to me but it could be slightly different but you can see the end cuffs of the sleeves there that are definitely different okay so next i'll show the aero ready blue trim goes all the way down and of course it's the aero ready material get a look in on that it feels very much like the uh, heat ready material without the intricate you know the woven perforated bits there see all them but it's very very nice the material on both is very very nice and then over on the authentic it is very very slightly different it, it puffs out slightly more it's very hard to show but i'll try and do a side by side and slot it in the video but you get that all important authentic See that? A lot of fakers about. Can't really fake that as well as that. And then it goes into the drop tail hem at the back. Into the heat ready material. And it goes all the way up the side, of course. Now I'm going to flip these shirts over, show you all the differences on the back, which is quite a few. Okay, so this is the back. Obviously, you can see there's more details on the authentic version. You get more of the Islington stripes on the back. But the main difference is on the back is this part. You can see that material is breathable on the underarm segment. And then over on the authentic, it's just more perforated. So what name and number would you have on the back? Let me know in the comments. That's the back. I'll flip them over one more time for one more last look and final thoughts. Okay, so final thoughts. I really do like this shirt. I like the design. I definitely like the colours. I think the blue on the green looks really nice. It's a nice contrasting colour. I don't mind the Islington stripes, the, the pattern, the map pattern. I think it's a really nice shirt and you Arsenal fans have got a treat with this one, but I do know that that is divided there's not many that like it if you want to then let me know in the comments why you don't like it or let me know if you why you do like it but anyway that's it guys hopefully this video has helped you out as i said don't forget to like subscribe for more watch the other videos that are going to be popping up right about now and i'll see you all in the next video